Glue laminated timber, also known as Glulam or GLT, is a mass timber product that is composed of individual laminations of timber, where the grain of the individual laminations run in parallel with one another. The laminations, also known as lamps, are finger jointed together to create long lengths of timber. These long lengths of timber are then bonded together with adhesives. Because of the way that glue laminated timber is composed, large glue lamp members can be made from smaller trees, harvested from second or even third growth forests and plantations. Glue laminated timber makes it possible to enjoy the strength and versatility of large wood members, without relying on fully grown and solid timbers. Glue laminated beams are manufactured with the strongest laminations on the top and the bottom of the beams, where the most tension and compression finds place. Pound for pound or kilo for kilo, glue laminated timber is stronger than steel. Glue laminated timber found its initial applications in Europe in the early 1890s. In 1901, a patent from Switzerland marked the true beginning of glue laminated timber construction. A pivotal advancement that significantly propelled the glue lamp industry forward was the introduction of fully water resistant phenol resocyanol adhesives in the year 1942. This innovation was crucial as it made it possible to use glue lamp in exterior environments without being afraid of degradating glue lines due to environmental factors. This development expanded the range of possible applications for glue lamp, facilitating its use in different construction scenarios. Now let's take a look at the manufacturing process of glue laminated timber. The manufacturing process starts with drying softwood planks down to a moisture content of approximately 12%. After this, the planks are planed. The now dried and planed planks are then graded based on strength, either visually, mechanically or both. The outer laminations require additional attention, since the visually appealing aspect of the glue lamp members is taken into account. Plank sections with wood defects have significant impact on strength as well as outward appearance. Knots and resin or bark pockets are therefore cut out of the planks. The planks are joined together in length using finger joints. After all of this, an adhesive is applied to the planks, and at least three laminations are stacked together and then pressed in either a straight or a curved press. The glue lines are very thin, and the proportion of glue in a glue lamp member is less than 1%. In the final phase of production, the glue lamp members are often trimmed to their final dimensions and any necessary joints are securely made within the manufacturing facility. In cases where it's deemed necessary, the glue lamp members might undergo preservative treatment or get a temporary coating applied to shield them from any weather exposure during the construction phase. If you want to learn more about the different types of mass timber, follow the links in the description. And if you want to learn more about the world of mass timber as a whole, subscribe to this channel. Stay informed, stay inspired, Timber Talk.